Welcome to Extreme Web Designs. This is Rocky. In this video, I'm going to show you how to exclude a folder from AVG Internet Security Scan so that it does not block the program that you're trying to access. So let's get started. Now open the AVG program on your system. In my case, I'm going to click on the Start menu and type in AVG. And that's going to show me the shortcut. Click on that. And before we move on to the actual process, let me show you the version number of my current installation of the AVG Internet Security Suite. So to check the version number, click on the menu option and click on the about option, which is the last one. And that will show the software version number. So in my case, the version of AVG Internet Security is 17.9. Okay, so this solution and the interface that I'm about to show you is applicable for at least this version. Older versions may have a different UI, so the options might differ. But just so you know, 17.9 will do just fine and probably even few versions above this. So let's go ahead and see how to stop AVG from moving the file to quarantine. So click on the menu and click on the settings option which is the first one all right so the general settings screen pops up so look for the option that says exceptions over here click on that and now we can select the folder that we need to exclude from AVG scanning it so please note that AVG does not let us pick just one file rather it asks us to pick a folder so that it can exclude the complete folder. So click on the browse button located here and then pick the folder that contains your exe file or any other file that you need to be excluded from moving to the quarantine. In my case, I have a file called test.exe located in the 3D objects folder over here. So I'm gonna select the 3D objects folder and I'm going to click this small white square box like so and then this will select the path to that exe file that i want to skip so click on ok and now that will be populated here all you have to do is just click on the ok button so let's verify if our changes have been made successfully or not so click on the menu click on settings and click on exceptions and yes indeed the path to the exe file has been successfully saved and in future if you want avg to scan this folder for files or if you want the current excluded file to be scanned as well simply click on that and then it will show you the delete button and click on that to delete the file path so this way you can both add and remove a folder from AVG scan. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found this video to be helpful, please feel free to hit the like button, leave a comment, share it on social media, and subscribe to the channel. Soon after you subscribe, make sure you tap the bell icon located right next to the subscribe button to receive all future updates. Thanks for watching.